What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So grab your popcorn because today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the story of how making indie games has changed my life and also what the journey of the last five years has been like. So for those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Justin and a little bit of a background about myself. I was born in Cape Town, South Africa. I was brought up in, in pretty much an average household with my three siblings. Uh, my parents had their own business where they would sell educational textbooks and toys to schools around the country. So I was always around that entrepreneurship kind of environment. However, when I turned 18, things kind of took a turn for the worst. My dad passed away, unfortunately, from cancer. Uh, this was a hard time uh, for me because, not just for me, but my whole family. I was just starting college and um, at the same time, I was trying to work two jobs to, pay, to help pay for college. And um, also another tragic thing that happened to my mom, a couple of months after that, she suffered a stroke where she was left, she couldn't talk, she couldn't walk. So thank God she made a full recovery, but the next year was incredibly tough on all of us. Needless to say, all the financial ramifications that came with that, there was six months where our electricity was shut off. Our, because we couldn't pay rent, our landlord had the electricity shut off. Um, there was many nights where I used to go to the fridge and um, yeah, there'd be no food in the fridge. I even recall, it, looking back now, it's quite funny. I went out once with my friend. We went on a night out um, and we got back and we were, we were starving. It was like 2 a.m. in the morning. And my friend's like, hey man, where's the food? And literally the only thing we had was a bag of onions and some sauce in the fridge. He kind of just laughed it off and he um, went to the pan, cooked up some fried onions. We had it with some sauce. And um, yeah, Lev, shout out to you if you're watching. Um, yeah, so looking back now is kind of a funny situation. At the time, it was, it was really embarrassing. And um, which led me over the next couple of years, I decided I needed to leave Cape Town as hot as I was. I needed to find and see if the grass was greener on the other side. So I booked a one-way ticket to London, where my dad was originally from. He was born there. And he was like, son, you got to go check out your roots. See, traveling is the best thing that can happen. You know, you can't just wait for life to come to you. You actually have to go out and find it and all that, all that sort of stuff. So I eventually, I was working odd jobs in London. I was working in a factory. I then found my way working at an English uh, teaching camp, which was pretty fun. And that got me to um, explore further into Europe. I applied for a job uh, to teach English in Poland, where I am currently living right now, where I have been for the last eight years. So how did I get into game development? That's a funny story. Um, when I was teaching English, the money was really low. The salaries here in Poland are not the best compared to the rest of the Western world. So what I did have was a lot of time on my side. I had internet, I had a laptop, and I just had this dream of kind of living that laptop lifestyle. You know, I always, from my dad's side, he, he always instilled in us as his kids that we should write our own checks. And for me, it was a no brainer that I wanted to have my own company one day, my own business, write my own checks. So being a creative mind like myself, I went on to various endeavors online, started with affiliate marketing. I tried drop shipping. I tried literally everything under the sun to try and make money online. I, the goal was to be able to sit on the beach somewhere on holiday and just uh, open my laptop, sipping pina coladas and uh, that sort of thing. And eventually nothing was working. I was getting really frustrated and I was like, is this going to be my life forever? And I was losing hope. And one day I was, I was, uh, at this English school and uh, I just I was looked down on my shoes and literally my shoes had holes in them and I'd been playing a game for the last couple of weeks and this game was called quiz app it was really popular uh, quiz game on the app store and this is a game where you could compete against other people um, around the world and yeah it was kind of like an ego thing and you could select the categories which you were the best at 
for me, it was about animals. I always selected the animal category. I watched a lot of Discovery Channel as a kid, so I'm pretty, pretty clued up on that stuff. I like turtles. And um, yeah, I was always on the top, the top three of of that game for that category. And I would get daily challenges, and I would be, I would, it would boost my ego a little bit knowing that like no one could beat me at this game. And then one day, like a light bulb, you know, you have those light bulb moments, like ching, and I remember the hair standing up on my on my arms and I, I had this idea it was like you know I broke why, why can't I capitalize I wish there was a game like this where I could compete against people for real cash I mean at least that would bring some if I could earn an extra like ten dollars a day I mean that would really help my situation out and I was like screw it I'm gonna go online and see if anything like that exists and I couldn't really find anything like that on the app stores so I then, over the next couple of months, I proceeded to write down a plan of action and read up and study how to sort of go about making games because I had no clue. I don't have a background in programming. That stuff is like a foreign language to me and it, it, let's just say it's, it started to seem really daunting. Anyway, one of the best traits I think about myself is that I really I don't give up easily on things. It's like an obsession. Once I get something in my head, I got to keep doing it until maybe it's like an OCD thing. I don't know, but it really helped me in this regard. So I tried contacting different agencies, uh, freelancers on Fiverr, and I went through a lot of money, not just my own money. Um, I had a very little money from the job I was making. So I went to family and friends, got their money and needless to say uh, yeah that money just disappeared into the black hole <laughs> so uh, eventually after not giving up I did find a developer and yeah the rest is kind of history and um, the reason why I'm making this video is to show you guys that maybe you are in the situation that I was in those many the many of those years ago maybe your electricity got shut off or maybe you have no food in the fridge um yes yes i get a bit emotional still talking about it anyway like back to the story maybe you guys are in a dire situation and your passion is about making games and you don't know if it's going to pay off or if it's just a futile effort, maybe your, your friends and the people around you are judging you, telling you to get a real job. But what, what I want to say is that if you're consistent in life with anything, the sky is the limit. And you don't have to be super smart. You don't have to have know much about what you're going into. Like in my instance, I don't know, I knew jack shit about coding or programming. All that stuff I learned on the fly. I hired the right people, but it didn't take me a short time. It took me like literally five years. So if you're consistent enough and you really want something, go out and get it. Screw what everyone else says. My life is so different today from what it was uh, 10 years ago. I mean, just for instance, the freedom that I have every day, I get to wake up on my terms do what I want to do, make things happen. I can go on holiday at the without any notice. I don't have to answer to anyone, you know. A, a, just a couple of years ago, I was sleeping on a, on a mattress on the floor. And now I have a really beautiful apartment. Actually got my first car this year, um, which I feel really blessed. I mean, I've never had a car before. And I was in July, I was able to pick up a brand new Audi uh, Q5, which is like, it's pretty much the nicest car I've ever been in. And sometimes I still pinch myself like, like when my friends that I haven't seen for, for many years, they come over and they come over to my apartment and they ask me like, how do you pay for all of this stuff? And it's kind of, it's a little bit flattering because it's, and, I, and the answer that I get is always shocking that, I make games for a living, you know, and they're like, but how does it pay for everything? And it's like, you see this blank expression on their face. And 
yeah, sometimes I still don't understand it myself. But when I look back and I look at the struggles that I went through pretty much on a daily basis, it's like, it's like life is like a video game. Every level gets harder and harder. And believe me, those first few dollars that you're going to try and earn from your games is literally going to be the hardest, um, one of the hardest levels you, you, you're going to face. Because you don't know what you're doing in the beginning. You don't know who to turn to. You don't know the right direction. All you're going to do is just put one foot in front of the other and hope that you get there and learn after mistake after mistake. You see, we've been so instilled in our from school that failure is is you should run away from failure. You shouldn't ever have to fail at anything. But you have to fail at things. If you want to be successful in life, you have to try things and guess what? You're not going to have the answer in the beginning. You're going to fail. And that's okay. You know, a lot of us, we're too scared to try new things. We're too, we, we're too scared to keep on going because, yeah, what if it doesn't work out? You need to bet on yourself. You have to say, listen, it's going to work because I'm going to make it work. And you can't really rely on other people to make that um, happen for you. You just have to take it upon yourself and, uh, yeah, bet on yourself, you know. House always wins. Remember that. It's not just from casinos. It's yourself. you the house. So, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd make this video. It's been a long time coming. The, my life, like I said, is, is so different now. I, I get to go on holiday like four or five times a year. And not just me. I get to take my, my girlfriend. I get to take my family and my friends. My mom, she doesn't have to worry anymore about, about working or finances. So... And the thing is, I'm still beginning. I'm, I've been in this five years. That's nothing. If you look at industry veterans, like the big studios, they've got decades of experience. So that's also really inspiring for me because I know that this is not it. It's just, I, the, you always have to approach anything with an open mind and a willingness to learn, to keep on learning every day. It's such a strange thing because the more I actually learn, the the less I feel that I know, if that makes any sense. So every day I'm just like you guys, I'm watching YouTube channels like this, trying to pick up golden nuggets that I can use to, to grow my business. And that's pretty much what I'm doing with this channel is I am trying to give back to the community because it's, it's also been really good to me when I was learning. So yeah. Um, uh, I don't want to get too emotional with this video, but I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate all of you for watching, supporting the channel, and I am going to do my best to give back and give you guys um, the knowledge that I, I've learned and the experience that I've dealt, and also the mistakes that I've made in the past so that you don't have to make those mistakes. Um, if I can save you some time and some money at the end of the day, then my job's done. So. I really appreciate the support. Like I said, if you did enjoy this video, please smash the like button. Um, yeah, I'm still new at this whole YouTube thing, so your support uh, is what gets me through it, making these videos. So if you did, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will also be doing more technical stuff on the ways I have grown my business. I've probably left a lot of stuff out of in this video, but yeah, just the gist of it, just... Um, just keep on going, you know. We all have to start somewhere. And starting a business, it's like, it's really one of the hardest things you're going to do. Because the motivation is upon yourself. There's no external motivation. Unless you're starving and you have no money, that's also a great motivation to use. But yeah, you really have to dig deep and uh, find something you really enjoy doing. For me, I was always love to be creative. I mean... Seeing my ideas come to life in a digital format, like a game, I get such a kick out of it. And it's, it's really what uh, gets me going. So find out what your passion is. If it's game development, stick with it. Just be consistent and keep learning. That's, all, that's the whole secret. Like people think that there's a big secret of how you, how you can get some sort of success. But I mean, that's it. It's consistency and a willingness to learn. And um, yeah, find the right people to learn from and you will be just a-okay. So 
uh, instead of rambling on, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another thing, um, a lot of you guys have been asking about merge dolls, what's happening there. I did a series where I want to show you guys how to take a game from zero to $1,000 a month. I did have some trouble with the fairness of the game. We have taken care of that. So hopefully skills will give us the green light to uh, switch on cash tournaments. And then I can share those revenue numbers with you and see how we did on that. So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Stay safe and peace out.